Hey guys, welcome to a, another commentary done by Diggity. In the upper right hand corner, we have Ash Rancor. Starting as the red Zerg, bottom right hand corner, we have Ash Bug. Starting as the blue Protoss, this is on Polypoid, and it is the first match of BSL Hasu League Season 12, Group C. And we have an intra clan match between Ash Bug and Rancor. Ash, great clan. I believe mostly peopled by Europeans. And. I'm not, I would not be surprised if someone from Team that they're just involved in the community a lot. I see them all around Rogue's Gallery, I see them all around uh, CPL. Uh, pretty good, decent people that I've run into. Um, also wanted to kind of give an announcement there, if you check out Machine's channel, he actually had an intra-clan match between Team Red the other day, which was really fun to watch, for me in particular, because it was kind of a who's who's list of BSL participants between uh, upper levels of Chobo League and Hasu League. So, anyway, if you can check out the clan matches where you can, I think they're fun to, to check out. We do have a pylon warping down at the natural expansion, a little bit low. We'll see if there's going to be a gateway blockade. Overlord initially scouting the upper left-hand corner. And for those who are into time travel, if you missed it, so I have a whole bunch of games in between here, but this is the cast I'm doing just before going on vacation. I'm doing kind of an off day. Usually I cast on Tuesdays and Thursdays. For people that are unaware on Twitch, so you could have watched the cast live. These are off replays. It's always weird when people jump into the channel and they're like, hey, so is this live? And I'm like, well, the commentary is live, but the game is, you know, off a of replay. It's really hard to get good live casts for me uh, on timing. It's not that I'm against it. Oh, wow. We're going to see a 12 Nexus from Bug. Risky. By the way, France and Germany. The uh, locations respectively Bug from France. Um, so I don't think this is going to be super laggy. And he's going to... No, he cancels the Nexus. Interesting. So drop the Nexus. That's a lot... And redrops it. That does a lot of minerals to lose. And in the meantime, Rancor is making his way bottom right-hand corner. He did go for a spawning pool first opening. He still has... And he's building initial Zerglings. Or sorry, take it back. He's uh, already got that, the hatchery building. But still, moving down. The Forge is there. But the Nexus is there as well. The drone going to swing around. I'm wondering if this is going to provoke additional Zerglings. It looks like we at least have four Zerglings being built. And I believe with the spawn locations and the builds that have I should have paid more attention to <laughs> what was going on there. I do believe that the Zerglings might be able to, at least these initial two Zerglings, might be able to get into that base before that can warps in. The probe making its way across. Now let's see if the Zerglings go for the probe. It looks like they are going to opt to go for the probe. And go ahead and deny that information rather than trying to scoot into the front base. It looks like that gateway has been planted. There's still, I believe, a gap someplace here where units can sweep through that photon cannon still warping in. And it is only going to be about, I don't know, it's going to be a touch finish. Probes are pulling off, uh, pulling off the line to try to defend this. That is going to be necessary well before that nexus is finished. And yeah, they need to plug the gap so these zerglings can't just dive through. So there's the gap. I need to rememorize my... Uh, Protoss Wars, while the cannon warping in, the Zerglings able to get a handful of probe kills. It looks like they are now engaging the probes wholesale just to get as many probe kills as possible. And one Zergling almost makes it up the ramp, but there was a nice ramp blockade from Bug, at least to deny scouting information, or at least to prevent the Zerglings, not really a ton of scouting information to grab at this stage of the match, but Zerglings can sit around that base for absolutely forever. We are seeing a third hatchery, by the way, three hatch play from Rancor opposite corner. But Bug losing a lot of probes initially because of, honestly, a little bit of indecision and then on top of that greed. If he had actually just committed to the Nexus and perhaps gone forward, he might have gotten that cannon out a little bit earlier instead of losing. Because you lose 33%, I think it's 33%, 33% of your minerals when you plop things down and uh, cancel them. And so you get some minerals back, but you still lose. And when you're dropping down Nexus, that's 400 minerals. So that's, what, 100 and I'm trying to remember, 4 divided by 3 in my head. Uh, but anyway, point being is a significant amount of minerals, cybernetic score warping in right here. It's hard to do math and talk and commentate simultaneously. I find like if I'm just sitting and not bothering or thinking about it, no problem. But when I'm actually trying to commentate a match, for whatever reason, my brain's like, nope, not going to do it. Hydralis Den is down. We are seeing Hydralis speed. So it looks like Rancor wants to follow this up with either a Hydralis contain or a Hydralis bus, potentially. He's not going for the 973. Here he does have four drones saturating. He is getting that drone saturation count a little bit higher up. And I assume, again, this is going to go for more of a bust because it's going to be a while. Ooh, interesting. Bug actually skipping. It is lucky for him because he's playing completely in the dark. It is lucky for him that he is not, in fact, I was going to say completely in the dark, but it looks like this zealot 
running past that Sentinel Colony, taking a significant amount of damage, now able to walk in. It's going to be able to at least see that Hydralis then. So maybe get a drone kill. These drones engaging it heads up. A little bit of disrupted mining, but not really a significant amount there for Rancor. Hydral speed just finishing. Overlord slowly making its way down. Another Zealot's making its way across the map. I think it wants to check out the 12 o'clock location to make sure there's not an additional hatchery. And we see upon seeing that Hydralist and all sorts of cans being plopped down the front to, to stop a Hydralist bust. So didn't need to... That's kind of a nice little advantage for Bug, just forcing that Zealot up. Didn't need to worry about getting the... Uh, didn't need to worry about his Stargate, although if there were Mutalisks here, it might have been a, a bit of trouble. Templar Archives warping in, so it looks like he's going to head more towards Templar Tech. Maybe try to sneak a Dark Templar out on the map to dry, deny additional hatcheries, or at least get a little bit of map control that way. The Zealot, so a probe sneaking in the bottom left-hand corner, just to check things out. That Zealot's still waiting at that 3 o'clock base. More drones being produced. A creep colony from Rancor, so Rancor actually opting and getting his extractors well. So a handful of Zerglings moving down, so he's opting rather than to go aggressive, rather than to really capitalize on the Hydalus tech, he's going to go ahead and go to Lair, perhaps get Lurkers, is upgrading Spines, and he's just going to drone up in the meantime upon feeling a complete lack of pressure. And there is going to be a complete lack of pressure because, again, Bug invested a lot of resources in these Photon Cannons to a Hydralisk bust that is now not encroaching. Um, I do worry about the follow-up with the Lurkers and the potential Lurker Spine. You can see Rancor doing kind of the same action where he's checking the 6 o'clock location to make sure an additional base wasn't snuck there. But both players kind of go opting for a longer-term macro engagement. A second forge being planted. Level 1 weapons is upgrading. I'm almost wondering if this was preventatory in anticipation of a potential Hydralisk attack. The Zealot wandering up to the mineral only. Going to go ahead and harass there. It should be cleaned up momentarily. Two High Templar being built. So Bug already anticipating and also getting Psystorm very rapidly. Already anticipating a potential contain. Hydralisk pushing that Zealot back. But Rancor getting an additional hatchery. So he's basically at 5 hatch Hydra at this stage and also adding a Spire so he could potentially go for a tech switch. Granted, this main... First of all, a tech switch could be brutal here. The High Templar are very vulnerable in the mid-game. Also, interesting here from Bug. He's just going to go for a blind. This is cute. I like it. He's just going to go for a blind Nexus here in the bottom left-hand corner. And just assume that does not get scouted. This Zealot... Zealots stay... They're so beefy. Like, look how many units this is and how long it took to kill that Zealot. Granted, it didn't get a lot of damage accomplished. But still, I'm just really impressed with them. Three High Templar... Hanging out in a very defensive position. I'm wondering if we're going to see there is a Dark Templar being produced. And finally a Stargate and two cannons warping in just in case. So the tech switch is going to be somewhat negated. Uh, some Hydralisks are pushing up here. But here's the problem for Rancor. If he does go for it and he's going to start pecking away now at this gateway and this forge. The forge is the juicier target here. And these cannons are far enough back. Oh, good size storm. Going to push them a little bit back. Good reaction from Rancor as well. He really wants to focus less on that gateway and more on the forge. Getting that level 1 weapons cancelled is a uh, a bigger win. He is starting to... F this isn't a huge huge grouping. Perhaps he's just trying to bait out some of these size storms and provide a little bit of, of stress. I do believe he can... Yeah, there. Okay, now starting to work on that forge. And we'll see if we're going to get a cancel from Bug. Looks like a Dark Templar. Wow, saw the shimmer. Went ahead and back right out. There is an Overlord nearby. And that is why I'm surprised he did not go for the Forge first. That's going to allow Weapons 1 to finish, which could be a significant win. Two cannons in place here for Bug. So now here's the problem for Rancor. Rancor is setting up to go for perhaps a Lurker contain. It looks like he's actually, never mind, going to go for an interesting bust. He's building a slew of Mutalisks to dive towards the main. There are two cannons there. Great size storm catching all sorts of Hydralisks and the rest of the Hydralisks having some trouble containing themselves. A shuttle out. That shuttle's in a lot of trouble because I think it's going to run headlong into the Mutalisks. A, the first Corsair being produced... As well, but with enough mules production, this could get really, really scary really, really rapidly for Rancor. I was going to say, if this turned into an attempted lurker contain from Rancor, that, that could have been devastating because he's going to go for a containment overall. He's going to go ahead and open up that cannon on his front. Could it open up that containment overall, and then he wouldn't know about that potential nexus in the bottom left-hand corner. But in the interim, the shuttle sees a 10 mutalisks moving to the bottom right-hand corner and potentially more to come. On top of that, Bugs... Just sitting on very few cannons on this front. So if he follows this up with a lot of Hydralisks starting to work on that cannon line on the front, he might be able to get a lot accomplished. And there's a lot of territory here that is not covered by the cannons. More gateways warping in, but this pylon being wiped out could be significant. This is, And here's the thing, Mutalisks, wow, Mutalisks do pretty well against Dragoons. 
Um, Dragoons take a long time to kill those middles. It looks like Rancor going to go ahead and back off instead. Going to wait for more Hydalisks and Zerglings and perhaps just try to bash down the front door with his economy. He is sitting on 40 drones. Currently 64 drones for Bug. Still hasn't plopped down this Nexus in the bottom left-hand corner. And I'm not sure how he'd be able to transfer anything there. I don't think we've seen Lurker Tech upgraded. We are seeing level 2 Spines being upgraded. We have double Evolution Chamber now to go for an upgrade advantage. The Mutalisks getting uh poking and that is a large amount of mutalisks poking great psi storm catching oh that was a devastating psi storm bug just flying in and out of it as well and that is going to interrupt that bug actually feeling with the damage he's done and just small enough attack force is going to move out the zerglings there actually this is enough zerglings to deal with those two dragoons and the high templar that high templar going to get wiped out the mutalisks sweeping around to go ahead and take the dragoon out and that Mutalists actually have some trouble. Yeah, this is the thing. is Dragoons, very, well, half decent against Mutalists. Uh, really good against Lurkers, but not all that great against Zerglings. And Bug going to go ahead and crawl forward and establish his mineral only. Rancor grabbing another hatchery to go up to six. He's playing defensively once again. Going to go ahead and saturate that. He hasn't got his third gas critically. And he is going up towards Hive Tech. So, interesting play here. He's also getting that uh, Phenomenized Carapace. But interestingly, opting with the economy he has to go ahead and, and move his way up to Hive, even though he hasn't established a third gas, that might cost him. There is an additional nexus going down this bottom left-hand corner. Bug is going to end up with an economic advantage over time. Hydrosks flooding in to engage here. They do have... So there is level 1 armor up, but there is level 1 spines comparatively, and this is a lot from Rancor going down. The Zerglings able to filter out... Those Zelts and the Dragoons, I think this is going to force a cancellation of this Nexus. A drone getting in that fight as well. Love to see that spirited drone attack. Dragoon getting wiped out. Everything backing up. And so he's cleared that out. So now he's got to feel like, okay, I've got... Ran and here's the problem for Rancor's perspective. Since he has not scouted bottom left, he's got to feel like, okay, I cleared out this base. I've got Bug stuck on two bases. I'm just going to starve him out here. But in reality, there is a third base in this bottom left-hand corner. A couple of latent Zerglings here. A couple of units actually misrallied, and they're going to end up dying. And so you can see Rancor's just setting up. He's like, okay, I'm going to go ahead and camp here. I'm going to go ahead and get Hive Tech up. I'm going to go ahead and uh, kind of get this additional tech. I assume he's not producing Queens. He's got that Queen's Nest, but again, not that third gas. He's going to go ahead and wander up and establish that 3 o'clock. But Bug is sweeping across. He's going to go ahead and push these forces back out. And this has to be a big, like, question mark. Eventually, this is going to turn into, like, a question mark situation for Rancor, where it's like, okay... A couple of misrallied overlords. Okay, now he finds that base in the bottom left-hand corner, which again still isn't established. Now Rancor has kind of an issue here, both directions. Is is he going to try to deny this mineral only? Is he going to go for an attack in the bottom left? Looks like he is going to try to establish his own 12 o'clock base. He is making his way towards Hive Tech as well. A lot of units flooding down. It looks like he wants to go ahead and deny this mineral only. Hydralisks grouping up. Looking for good size storms here. Nice size storm. Good dodge there by Rancor. Another beautiful size storm catching a lot of these reinforcements. And this is where that level one weapon's not getting canceled. Could be a differential in this fight. Dragoons and Zealots on that front line. Keep in mind these Zealots do not have leg speed upgrade just yet. The Hydralists are trying to fight uphill. And Rancor just going to have to back off with what he has. It doesn't look like he's sweeping out additional reinforcements. And that is going to allow Bug to go ahead and establish an additional base. A couple Zerglings getting cleared out. More cans warping in, some additional Templar moving in to go ahead and provide some support size storm in case Rancor decided to go for additional attacks. So the 6 o'clock base is boxed out a little bit, but this bottom left-hand base is, is going to be difficult to, to break. And there's a lot of Zealots and Dragoons to engage anything that's coming up a ramp here now. So Bug is going to be able to get up to four bases. This fourth base is just now being taken by Rancor. He's going to uh, add a couple hatcheries here. The critical thing for Rancor... Looks like Bug is going to go ahead and try to clear out the 6 o'clock. He's starting to move towards that bottom left-hand base to go ahead and wipe that out. The Hive the hive is up. Greater Spire being morphed. So he's going to opt for Air Tech, interestingly enough, to go for an attack perhaps towards the main. Zerglings flooding in. They do not have Adrenal Upgrade as of yet. That's still warping in. Once they have Adrenal Upgrade, those attacks are going to get a lot more devastating. It's going to be more difficult for Bug to push this back. Here's a critical thing for Bug. He's got twice the supply. He's way ahead in supply count. He's doing a fantastic job macroing. He's got this bottom left-hand base uh, mining. He's got the 6 o'clock base, which he can take momentarily. Honestly, almost at leisure. 
He's starting to wander into the 3 o'clock base to go ahead and grab that. Looks like that's going to be denied Rancor with that drone sitting there. But Rancor does have a pretty solid economy. He's making his way towards Hive. He's got a Greater Spire on the way. And we might see a shift in tech, which could be a huge, huge shift in advantage here. It looks like Big Army moving out to the middle of the map while there's a simultaneous drop here. And it looks like it's going to go all the way to the main. I'm not sure that I like that as a location. It looks like some additional Psy Storms happening here. It looks like that. I think this is going to be cleaned up. So Bug going to end up losing this army in the middle here. It is dropping the High Templar at that natural, getting a lot of drone kills there. So four drone kills there. So loses a lot of his units there in the middle. Is he going to be able to... And the Zealot dropping as well? Did the Zealot drop? I believe it dropped. And pulling out... Actually putting a pylon in the face of Rancor here at the 3 o'clock location. So the shuttle... Sorry, it looks like the... There it is. The Zealot wandering up. It's already managed to get a single kill, but it looks like this is going to be cleaned up after this and i feel like even despite the drop despite a good amount of economic damage i feel like bug ended up getting the worst part of that trade because with his micro in the middle of the map and losing that large army i don't know i feel like he could have done more with that moving up with a lot of dragoons level one weapons level two armor comparatively about even actually on the overall upgrades unfortunately with the adrenal upgrade these zerglings are going to chew through these dragoons just very very rapidly very rapidly, and this is almost where you want to have some of those Archons out in the field uh, to deal with that. And you can see, and this is where Zealots become all the more worthwhile in the late game for any Protoss player. Bug pushing up, trying to establish that 3 o'clock base. He's got the shuttles going to be uh, taken out by some Mutalisks finally, and those Mutalisks are up in the air. And this is the thing, this might be a little bit of confusion for, for Bug. Bug might be thinking, oh, those Mutalisks were just there to take care of my shuttle. And he doesn't realize, I, I don't know, maybe he got the eyes there with the shuttle and saw the Greater Spire. I'm not sure that he has a lot to do, uh, a lot to deal with it. He does have two Corsair out currently. So I take it back. He recognized it. He saw it. Six o'clock base is going to get denied. So Rancor behind 30 supply. But what I'm realizing in the midst of this is so much of that supply is actually in probes. Bug actually a little bit over probed here at 73. So if you minus 30 supply, they're actually about even as far as just raw army count. And Rancor, I, I got to say, at Hive Tech. Feels like with just Zealots being fielded, just Zealots and Dragoons, unless I'm seeing some more High Templar out here, something additional, or or uh, superior upgrades, which I'm also not seeing. I don't know. I feel like Rancor is actually not in that bad a position. Some Zealots wandering into the upper left end to try to deny this. They're going to try to go ahead and take out this 12 o'clock base. The Zerglings are on delay. There's only a single Sunken Colony to try to defend this. Critically, there's no Spire and no... Pl or there's no... Uh, I'm sorry, Defilers and no Plague to assist this, so I think Bug is going to be okay for the interim. Scourge wandering up. I'm not sure for what purpose. Maybe to work on Corsair that might be out in the field. Looks like Bug is managing, was using this time to go ahead and establish his 3 o'clock base, and he's denying that base in the upper left. However, on the other side of the map, Rancor is denying the 6. This is just like crazy map play. People, the, Both players absolutely everywhere on the map. Main is mined out. For Bug, natural expansion is looking very thin, so he's basically going to be down to two bases. He's starting to try to take another base here uh, at the 9 o'clock location, also at the 3 o'clock. In the meantime, main is very thin for Rancor. It's going to be mined out not too long. Natural expansion is looking thin. He's basically mining on two bases. So effectively, it is two base versus three base, or should be three base momentarily. But a quick swing. It looks like Rancor going to end up losing this bottom left-hand base. I'm looking for the Defiler Mound. This is where just like a single Defiler would just annihilate this. Despite the two High Templar there with those Zerglings and that Adrenal Upgrade. The Zelt still camping the upper left-hand corner. And it looks like it, it could turn into Starvation Match either way. Rancor doing a good job spending of his minerals. But I just don't feel like he's yeah, quite, got quite the economy that Bug does. Bug needs to establish some degree of map control so he can... Get some of these additional bases out there and establish. He's got that Nexus warping in at the 3. And it feels like, okay, so he had Greater Spire, but really has not been able to utilize it at all. So I'm a little bit a little bit disappointed in that, as far as like having the tech and, and not doing anything with it. Both players, it looks like a Zealot and a Zergling, just kind of staring each other down at the Pure 9. Hydalus is moving in the upper left-hand corner, clearing out the last Zealot to maybe take that base in the near future. And this is a pure macro versus macro battle at this stage of things. And I'm missing it. Where are the... There they are. So I take it back. As I'm like, oh, we're not seeing the Guardians come to play. It looks like we are seeing some Guardians engage here and working on some cannons. And while that's happening, a huge dive of Hydralisks at the natural expansion. Some Corsairs 
and Dragoon's going to be able to wipe that out without too much hoopla. But while Ranker's out of position dealing with that and diving into that natural expansion, Hydralists are pushing in and taking out that natural expansion. They might be able to get on top of all that supply, but Rankar might be might just need to turn around and come back home because Bug, it looked like, was going to dive into that natural. No, he's going to turn around. Keep in mind you have all of these units that are nearby that might be able to support this attack. I'm not sure if Rancor has just forgotten about them or what, or just happy to keep them there in the meantime. He's also got a large attack, well, a okay size attack force there. So natural expansion's down. Not quite a contain. He hasn't, and that's not too big a loss because that's just supply loss, effectively, and a way to build probes. Another attack force kind of diving in behind all this. Some Overlord's going to get wiped out between that. Some nice size storm to clean this up. So it looks like Bug is going to be able to clean up this two-pronged attack. Going to be able to evict Rancor from his, from his own natural expansion. Doesn't end up losing any of his gateways or anything like that. I think he's going to still be able to defend this natural only. We'll see. That is a lot of Zerglings and Hydralisks all of a sudden over that natural. Beautiful size storm, though. And finally, the reinforcements getting here. Some of the probes certainly going to get taken out. So Bug going to lose a some sort of, some portion of his economy, he, trying to get some source, side storms down. Archon morphing in as well. Reinforcements trying to push in to at least save the Nexus. Storming his own probes, it looked like there. To go ahead and try to keep the Nexus alive. It looks like, though, Rancor is just pressing forward and wiping everything out. But he, in the interim, Bug has been annihilating Overlords, putting him in the red. Both players down to 100 supply on either side of the map. And you just see how quickly these Zerglings flood through. He might still press into that natural expansion. It looks like he's starting yeah, to move there. In the meantime, Bug is going to go ahead and grab and try to grab another base on the opposite corner of the map. And at the same time, we're going to see another base grabbed by Rancor in the upper left. This is a fantastic match. Natural expansion under a lot of trouble. And this might be it for Bug. Bug trying to defend that ramp. There's GG. Just did not have enough to defend his main and was going to end up his uh, ended up losing his main line of production. Oof. Fun match, though. We will go with the game two between Rancor and Bug. Congratulations to Rancor for taking game one. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Thanks for listening.